really great way of displaying multiple photos all on the same page is in a photo montage. Montages look great and allow you to collate your favourite photos together in a stylish and creative way. In this video, we'll look at creating a photo montage in PhotoPlus. OK, let's get started. You may prefer to build your montage up from scratch, starting with a new blank image. If so, click New Image on the left of the Starter Persistent and set the properties of your new image. Alternatively, you could use an existing photo as the base for your montage. This looks really stylish and provides a creative background. From the Starter Persistent, click Open and then in the Browse My Computer section, select All Images. Navigate to where your photos are stored. Select the one you want to use for the background and click Open. Your photo will be displayed in the workspace. I'll click the arrow to hide the How To tab and give us a little more room. On the Layers tab, you can see that this photo is the background layer. As it is the background, I'm going to apply a subtle blur effect. From the Effects menu above the workspace, select Blur and then Gaussian Blur. In the Gaussian Blur dialog, increase the radius of the blur via the slider. I'm happy with that, so I'll click OK. Before we continue, let's save our work so far. This will remove any risk of overwriting the original photo. From the File menu, click Save As. Click on the Save As Type option at the bottom and change it to Photo Plus Pictures. This will save the photo as an SPP file and means we can continue editing it. Choose where you want to save your montage and type a file name. Then click Save. Now we can open the photos that we want to be included in the montage. On the standard toolbar at the top, click Open. Browse to your photos and click on the ones you want to use. Hold down the Shift key while you click to select multiple adjacent photos or hold down the Control key to select multiple random photos. When you're happy with your selection, click Open. Each photo will open individually and be displayed in the Documents tab at the bottom of the workspace. We need to copy each of these photos into the montage. Select the photo you want to copy first and then from the Edit menu, click Copy. Alternatively, Hold down the control key on your keyboard and press C. On the Documents tab, select the montage and then from the Edit menu, click Paste and select As New Layer. Alternatively, hold down the control key and press L. The photo will appear on top of the montage. On the Layers tab, you'll see that the photo has been added as a new layer. Let's resize it. On the Tools toolbar on the left, click the down arrow next to the Deform Tools flyout and select the Deform Tool. A bounding box will appear around the edge of the image. To resize it, select one of the corner handles, hold down the Shift key and drag. Holding down the Shift key maintains the aspect ratio. If you hover over the corner handles, you'll see a rotation handle appear. Use this to rotate the image. Finally, click and drag on the photo to move it into position. Let's repeat this with another photo. First select it on the Documents tab and then copy it. Navigate back to the montage and paste the photo as a new layer. With the Deform tool selected, resize and reposition it as before. Repeat this process until you've added all of your photos to the montage. OK, I've copied all of my photos now, but I think the positioning of some images may need adjusting. As you can see, this image on the left slightly covers up the face of the subject in the image above. We can fix this by rearranging the photos on the Layers tab. Locate the layer which your image is on. As I've still got the Deform tool selected, 
The bounding box around an image helps me to identify which layer is selected. Click on the layer you want to move and then drag it down the tab. The red line will indicate where your layer would appear if you release the mouse button at that point. Feel free to rearrange layers on the Layers tab until your photos are displayed as you want them. Don't forget that you can only select a photo on the page when its layer is selected on the Layers tab. I'm happy with the arrangement of my photos. Now, let's add some special effects. Select a photo by clicking on its layer on the Layers tab and then click the FX button at the bottom of the tab. The Layer Effects dialog will be displayed. I'm going to move the dialog to the left so we can see the image update when I apply effects to it. First, I'll apply an outline. Click in the box next to Outline to enable the effect. Then, set the properties for the line. I'll increase the width and change the colour to white. You'll see the changes update automatically on the image. Next, we'll apply a drop shadow. As we did with the outline, click in the box to enable the effect. Then, adjust shadow properties. When you're happy with the effect, click OK. If you want to apply the same effects to your other images, you can save the properties as an instant layer effect. This will save you applying them each time. We'll do this on the Layer Effects tab, which is initially hidden by default. From the Window menu at the top, click Studio Tabs and then Layer Effects tab. The Layer Effects tab will be displayed on the right of the workspace. Right-click anywhere on the tab and select Add Category. Give the category a name and click OK. Before we add an instant effect to the category, double check that the layer you applied the effect to is still selected on the Layers tab. When you're sure, right click in the category and select Add Item. Check the preview displays as expected. Then give your new item a name and click OK. The effect will be added to the category. To apply your new instant effect, click on a different layer on the Layers tab and then select the effect on the Layer Effects tab. Before we finish, let's look at adding a caption to our montage. From the Tools toolbar on the left, click the down arrow next to the Text Tools flyout and select the Text Tool. Click and drag on the image to set an insertion point and start typing. To customise your text, select it and then set the attributes, including font, size and colour, on the context toolbar. And that's it! I hope you're happy with your photo montage and that you enjoyed learning how to create it. To find out more about Photo Plus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.